The application allows the creation and recording of sales quotations. If we go to Sales Quotes, then New Quote, the screen here is very similar to the sales order screen and is completed in a similar way. Customer name, a quote description if that's appropriate. The system generates a quote reference which can be overwritten if required. Enter a customer reference which might be a purchase inquiry for example. The customer VAT type is displayed as is the address and the line items can now be added. An existing stock item can be selected from the drop-down list. Project and department can be specified and a special price can be allowed for any particular customer based on, for example, quantity. The delivery method can be specified and a date can be entered. Where a stock item doesn't already exist, it can be created on the fly. There is a separate video tutorial dealing with the setup of stock items. This is the screen specified by general attributes of the stock item. And in this case, we will also want to look at the manufacturing screen. Here we can add the components that will be used to make up the batch of finished products. and the process routing specifying how and where the product is made. Once we are happy with the manufacturing method, we can click this box to calculate the cost of the product. And depending on our pricing policy, we can now finish off this stock item setup by entering the list price. Then we can save the new stock item dialog box. Our stock item was successfully created and that's now available for use in our new quotation. Enter a quantity, a delivery method, and availability. We can now save and send the quotation, which can either be printed and posted in the normal way, or emailed directly to the potential customer with our terms of trade. Once we're happy with that, we simply send the quote. The quotation is now listed on the sales quote screen and can be edited if required. Each time we make a change to this quotation, we are invited to update and resend it to the customer. Once we have confirmation from the customer that they want to proceed with the quotation as an order, we can simply select and confirm this. This generates an order acknowledgement which can be printed and sent to the customer. We then see the confirmation sales order on the sales order listings page. If required, we can then select and edit the order exactly in the same way as if the order was created on this screen.